Welcome viewers, software damage care. If you are facing a speed issue in my videos, you can change from here, playback speed. So I will tell you about in my today's video, how can you make your actual cost equal to your earned value cost? Why it's needed, why it's important, it does not matter in this video. And if you have any debate that if you don't think about that actual cost should not be equal to end value cost, the debate is ended here. I do not talk, want to talk about that one. So it should equal or not, because this is dependent on CPI and SPI and that's completely earned value management, uh, different concept. So I will tell you in my other upcoming videos that what is the uh, concept about earned value management and how this actual cost and earned value cost and plan value costs are both third three uh, core element in end value management and how this take part. So I will not discuss about in this video that what are the concept. So in this video, I will tell you about how can you make earned value cost equal to your actual cost. So the video is very simple and it will be very fast and you will see that the end result. So activity having a completed status have already the equal uh, uh, actual cost, like you can say that equal earned value cost and actual cost. So that we don't need to know that what are the completed activities and what are their costs. So we have only focus on our in progress activities. So what are our in progress activities? Uh, here my activities haven't been shown for in progress. Filter here and I will just go here, apply OK. So you can see here my actual cost is 11 million and my earned value cost is 7 million. So there is a totally different. So my unit percent complete is 88.01 and my performance percent is 55.2. So we have to make, uh, we haven't, we have not to make a unit percent complete equal to my performance. We have to just make our performance percent complete is equal to our uh, cost percent complete because unit percent may, may be uh, greater or less because uh, unit percent complete is calculated on the base of your labor units and non labor units. It's not calculated on the base of material. So material is not included in that one. So there may be some units which do not have a cost. So it will be maybe some. So this is a completely a different mess. So we cannot discuss about that one. So we'll go here. First of all, we go here and we will export the file and export. We will for, uh, export XLS file and we will export two type of sheets, activities and resource assignment. We'll press next and I will press export. Next, we'll create a new. We have already created a template. We'll select that one, modify that one. EV is equal to AC. So EV AC is equal to I will only lead it activity percent complete at the end for activities and for resource assignment. I only needed that four columns like remaining unit percent complete complete and uh, many units, uh, units, not unit person complete, uh, actual units, remaining units, budgeted units, at completion units. I, I only needed all four columns from here. So I will press OK and I will press next and I will paste into my new folder next finish this, this one and I will go here in my desktop. The file have been pasted right now. I will open my project two file. It have been exported right now and now I will first of all, I will remove all my completed and uh, not started activities from my task and from my resource assignment and I will go here and will filter from here. The filter is very important for the planners. It's a very key tool. Uh, so a lot of uh, planners can uh, just do that one filter for a lot of activities. I will select this activities and I will delete that one and I will go here resource assignment. I will do the same for that one because I don't don't want to create a mess for other completed and not, not started. Maybe uh, I just mistakenly do that one, but may it not, may it not because zero percent for the activity having uh, not started person complete uh, activity person complete so it does not matter but i am doing this because i have practice in that one so i will go here and i will select this one and i will delete the rows from here and i will select now in progress activities from here and this also should be here activities in progress uh, this is for the concept only and i will go here and i will apply the formula we look up here and we look up this is activity ID and what it should be we look up from the task and I will select all the columns and I will select from eight number and I will select as a false if it's not matches I need an exact match so here is 94 I will just go here and 94 I will divide it by 100 to I want to see percent in 9.9433 so we'll go here in the down so what is the last row and last row it's uh, 228 and I will go here and I will just multiply this 
परसेंट दिस इज माई एक्टिविटी परसेंट कंप्लीट एंड आई विल मल्टीप्लाई विद माई बजट यूनिट सो बजट यूनिट्स आर इन नॉट इन नंबर आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस वन ऑल एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू नंबर एंड गो हेयर एंड आई विल जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन विद माई बजट यूनिट्स एंड हेयर वेन आई मल्टीप्लाई बजट यूनिट्स यू कैन सी हेयर माई बजट यूनिट्स एक्चुअल यूनिट्स विल बी अपियर हेयर बिकॉज आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग एक्टिविटी परसन कम्प्लीट विद बजट यूनिट्स सो विल गेट हेयर माई एक्चुअल यूनिट्स and to calculate my remaining early units i will just apply the formula is equal to budget units minus my actual units here and here you can see here the formula and the value have been pasted here and i will just press this one and copy and paste this one budget units i will copy this budget units and make it equal to my at completion because you can see at completion have been changed for this value uh, maybe sometimes at completion have been changed so at completion should be equal for budget units it should be equal to budget units so we will remove this one and i will just convert them into uh, text i just go here and select this one and convert them into text and i will save that file close that file and i will go here my uh, primavera p6 and i will import that file which i have already exported and i have changed some data in there and i will go here in the desktop and in desktop there is a new folder and click on project 2 open next and i will select only resource assignment i will not select activity activities here and i will import to that project which i have already be used using and next and next and finish this one when i will finish you will see here uh, my unit percent complete have been changed so you can see here unit percent complete is still not equal to earned value cost why it's not equal to the question is that one because calculate cost from units maybe you are doing that one but in your case it's not matching here so what you have to do that one for to do that one you have to select that activities resource assignment uh, activity resource assignment so here you have to just see here that this calculate cost from units this option should be select for all activities i will select from this activity and to end activity i will select this one and when i will go here and fill down so when i go back in the activities you will see here 7077144 so it's probably equal so you can see here 55.2 percent for cost percent complete and performance percent complete is 55.2 so both are equal now so i already told you that this a unit percent complete maybe it's different and maybe it's more or it's maybe less because i haven't work on it and i only worked on in performance activities so that's why so this is my today's content about how can you make your uh, uh, about actual person uh, actual cost and earned value cost both equal by using excel so maybe uh, you can you think that there may be uh, chances to uh, equal your uh, global change by using global change so there is also global change option but in global change uh, you will just uh, do that one for uh, you can say that you can just uh, do for uh, unit percent complete will be change but your cost percent complete may maybe maybe it's uh, it's uh, uh, some activity may be not change because i have i shown you that resource from a source assignment uh, there will be unchecked for calculate cost from units so so it has create a mess so there is a, a global change so you can also use that one for global change you can uh, select for the filters any of the following in activities cost variance equal to that one so equal to zero cost variance labor equal to zero variance bl uh, you can say bl project total cost is equal to zero variance bl project labor units is equal to zero uh, variance bl project name labor units is equal to 0 it should not be equal to 0 this all should not be equal to 0 so we have to set from here any of the following if it is any of the following not equal to 0 so should be filtered now i have created the uh, like three uh, user defined field first is soft person complete go into user defined field and assign uh, create a user defined field for person complete and uh, uh, it should be an uh, the its value should be in numbers and soft uh, soft start it's also a user defined field uh, it should be in start dates and this is also user defined field and soft finish it's also user defined field it's for finish dates 
and first of all it will just change my uh, all uh, my uh, performance percent complete and it will copy into uh, other uh, user defined uh, percent completes uh, and then uh, for activity status in progress it will convert that progress into 0% and then it will convert that one into not started and then it will assign uh, some uh, you can say here uh, start dates from my user defined field and it will assign physical percent duration percent complete and unit percent complete as I just uh, uh, transfer from a user defined field in the first step so it will all finally uh, just do actu actual finish uh, is equal to soft finish so you can change from here if you change from here this will be done here like this one so all the activities will be done like that one so in this scenario you cannot do for that one uh, because because unit percent complete is different and cost percent complete may be different so I do not recommend this uh, global chain so you can also use that global chain which I have explained you did this one and uh, also you can use that uh, Excel method which I have explained. So this is our today's content about uh, budgeted total cost. Uh, so this is our today's content about how to uh, match your earned value cost and your actual cost in Primavera P6. Thanks for watching software demo. We will meet uh, next, uh, next video.